Welcome back to another 10 Minute Tuesday. And this week we are going to do a topic that was sent in from a listener. And we're just going to kind of chat about it a little bit. And the question was, if you could only hunt one flyway for the rest of your life, which flyway would it be? Joey's checking his watch. Already checked out. Bring it back in, please, sir. No, I was just checking the time. Um, Carter, I think you should start this discussion today. Why don't you tell us which flyway you would hunt if you could only hunt one flyway for the rest of your life? Well, there are three flyways, right? There are four flyways. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go first. I don't but think you should great go. Great choice. <laughs> wow. My that was really good. <laughs> I you for- know things. I forgot about that one. Um, my <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at a map. <laughs> I sure am. Yep. Uh, my nice work preference there. would be the Mississippi flyway. Why? Because I've had the coolest hunts in that flyway. Including Arkansas. Very cool. Yeah. And then Minnesota, which is meh. Iowa was pretty cool. Yep. Yep. I think that as the coolest hunting opportunities down the board compared to all the other ones are kind of meh. Kind of meh. Kind of meh. Kind of mid. Mid. Kind of mid. What do you think about that choice? That was my choice. Mississippi Flyway. Yep. Why don't you go into more detail about it? I'm going to pick a different one, so why don't you talk about it a little bit? Uh, well, there's so many different ways you can hunt throughout the Mississippi Flyway. You can do, there's a lot of rivers, mm-hmm. obviously the Mississippi, but then you have the St. Croix, and then you also have flooded timber. You also have Canada. There's a lot more lakes in the Mississippi Flyway than there is in the Central Flyway. And um, I grew up hunting the Mississippi Flyway more so than any other flyway, just because I don't have to travel as far. Yeah. And it just, it's home. It's home for me, man. I feel very much in my element in the Mississippi Flyway. It's as you keep going further west or further east where it just, shit just gets different and just doesn't feel familiar. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. But Mississippi just, it's my home. I get it. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, And like, I'm tempted to. Like, I'm torn in that department a little bit, you know, because... I do want to hunt lakes and stuff. I think that if I had to say, though, I think I would say the Central Flatway. Yeah. And I just, I love pothole hunting. I love hunting North Dakota. I love hunting Canada. Like, that was so much fun. And, like, that style of pothole hunting, when you really just, when you get the mallards right in those little potholes and stuff, I I love it, man. I think it's so much fun. And I'd, I... I like it probably more than, like, going out and having, like, a banger day with geese in a field. Like, if we can go out and just shoot, like, six really good shot, like, close up, call them in nice mallards, I just, I love it, man. It's so much fun. And I've had, I had a blast in Texas, man. I had so much fun in Texas with Russ and, like, the way that they get lessers and, like, the way their hunting is and, like, the widgeon in Texas and, you know, I just think that's really cool, too. Montana, you get a little bit of eastern Montana, like half the state of Montana. Like, Montana is so cool. Is Idaho considered central? No, it's Pacific. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Pacific. Further west. Part of Montana, I think, is actually Pacific, too, yeah. The farthest west side of it. I'm just glad that this isn't, like, real, that you have to pick a flyway to stay in. I know, and it would suck, for sure. But I can totally see myself someday, like, having a little cabin in North Dakota and just being, like, a curmudgeon old man who takes, like, 30 days off, you know, from everything and just goes out there and just hunts in a pothole every day. Mm. You'd have to be a resident, but... Yeah. Yeah. That'd be sick. I was going to say, are you willing to move to only hunt in that flyway? Probably not to (laughs) North Dakota. But (laughs) I can see myself spending some time there for sure. At least using up, you know, my my 14 days without a doubt. Oh, yeah. 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 Give me like 10 years, I'll spend 14 days. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. I think that flyway is just a lot of fun. I've had a lot of really fun hunting in that flyway. It is is a lot of fun. I love North South Dakota. Montana. Nebraska. I love it. It's all so cool. Yeah. The, uh, it is. It would be. It's hard for me to say. Like I wouldn't miss the shit out of like hunting Arkansas or hunting, you know, in the Mississippi Flyway. Um, like, I just yeah, I just think Central would be sick. Based on what I've heard on the Atlantic Flyway, I've never hunted out there. Um, like duck numbers are really low. Goose numbers it's different. Like the like you can't shoot as many birds over there because their populations are so low. But geese apparently are doing. Like there's a lot of geese over there. They just don't. They want. They don't let you the shoot population. Them. Right. 
Um, and so just based on that, I'm just like I wouldn't want to go to the yeah. Atlantic. I mean, I would they for do sure get some go. cool stuff, and like sea duck hunting would be sick. Yeah, but it's different. Yeah, it feels like a lot more of a. Production. It's not what we grew up on, man. No. It's not what you grew up on, at least. It's not what I learned in, so. I would love to go and shoot some black ducks over on the East Coast. Yeah, that'd be sick. Like, shoot some Jersey black ducks. Yep. I bet you it just feels so, um, not rural, sub- suburb, like. Suburban. Suburban. Yeah, or like shoot urban, yeah. black ducks in New Jersey. Yeah. But, like, they have, like, flooded swamp, like, flooded timber swamps out there, too. And, um. Yeah, it's always funny, because when you think about, like, the East Coast, you think about, like, New York and Philly and. And it seems, like, so populated, but, like, there are parts of, like, upstate New York and, like, you know, yeah. areas around there that are, like, not. It's not, like, New York City. Right, of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, uh, and they have a lot of brackish waters out there, more yeah. so than I think anyone else in the country. Like, the Atlantic Flyway has more brackish waters than anywhere else. I know Washington State has quite a bit, but I think East Coast is, like, the only place, Atlantic Flyway, that has, like, yeah. per capita. When I think about it too, like I always, I think about like places I want to go to, you know, to experience. Like I really want to hunt the Chesapeake at some point. Mm. I just think it'd be so cool. Like I just want to see that heritage and that, that history in front of me. And like, you know, I really want to hunt the West Coast. Like I really want to hunt the sea, like Washington or Oregon. Yeah. You know, like I think that's, that'd be really cool. California would probably be sick. Yeah. I really want to go hunt the Butte Sink. Nevada. Yep. Yeah. Like, I think about the places and, like, what they look like and how different they are. That'd be sick, too. Yeah, I think Pacific is, like, naturally what my brain goes to, but I got to, like, reel it in because they have a 110-day season. Yeah. You can shoot seven mallards a day. Yeah. That's pretty badass in itself. And then the views out there are just breathtaking. Yeah. Let's let's think about it this way. You have a hundred and – let's just say, what do you think it is if we start hunting in – Let's just say October 1. October, November, December, January. You get like four months, right? If you just someday just could spend four months straight hunting and you could pick your locations, but you had to stay in four places for a month each, anywhere anywhere in the country, what would be your month lineup? Like October, November, December, January. Damn. That's kind of cool. Damn. Uh, probably be here for September in Minnesota. Sure, I think we start with October, but oh, October, um, October, I'd be in North Dakota. Yep. Uh, November, I'd be in Minnesota okay. or South Dakota. One Crazy. of the two. Yep. Well, November is really good for ducks here. Can be yeah. Uh, um, December, I'd probably. Oh, shit. Arkansas. No, I'd probably go to. Damn. I mean, there's so many places, but to spend a month there is like... I know. Should we think about it and do Jan- it next week? January, I would do uh, Arkansas. January, I'd for sure do Arkansas. Yeah. December, you just figure something else out. December, I'd probably go to Oklahoma. Oklahoma's sick. Yeah. Loved it there. Either that or Kansas. One of the two. Kansas would be sick. Yeah. December in Kansas. Yeah, no. Nope. Nope. It would absolutely be December in Kansas. For sure. All right. Thanks for listening to this week's 10-Minute Tuesday, guys. Always send in your submissions. Message us on Instagram. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about on 10-Minute Tuesday. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys soon.